Hey everyone, it's me Robert and I'm doing another camera review today and today I'm bringing you the Fujika Compact 35. So this is a really basic camera and doesn't have a lot of functions but I was surprised at how good some of the photos I got out of it were recently. And so let's break it down. It's a zone focusing system, so it's not a range finder, it's not an SLR, it's a zone. So basically, you basically just tell it how far away you are on this ring right here, and it has it in meters and feet. And the closest it will go in meters is 0 .08 and about 2 feet. So if you're, you know, used to feet, then about 2 feet and about and the largest aperture is 2.8 and it goes all the way to 22 so um, also one thing you want to keep in mind with this camera is that it's designed only to take up to ISO 200 film and you can see how old it is because it doesn't say ISO it says ASA so that gives you an idea of how old it is um, so this pops up in right here like that simple and my camera the basically all the foam here to block out light has kind of gone to hell on it so two of my photos turned out really overexposed and like have some light leaks in it but it was actually kind of interesting I didn't mind it that much the viewfinder is extremely tiny so you know frame up what you can it has a cold shoe. There's a later version that does have a hot shoe, but this is a cold shoe on mine, so it has a PC sync on it. So if you do have a flash, if you want to use a flash for it, make sure you're using a PC sync flash. Um, the shutter speeds go from 30 to 250, and as you can see when you look at that, there's nowhere to select shutter speed, so it's all automatic. Um, and so it does have a meter, but how does it work? It's a selenium, it's a selenium meter. And so one of the things you should always be concerned about when you're buying anything with a selenium meter is, is it broken or not? Because it's a very old camera and getting it fixed is just not worth it. I got this camera for, I want to say like four or five dollars, something like that. So just ridiculously cheap. Um, but the lens is good. It's Fujinon lens. It's, uh, you know, like I said, 2.8. And it's, uh, what was it again? 38 millimeters. Um, so, it was an interesting camera to use. I would say it's very similar to an Olympus Trip 35, which I also own. It's, you know, uh, zone focusing camera, uh, selenium crystal. Everything is automatic. But like I said before, the photos I got of it were, were really good. Um, of course, you have a place to put it on a tripod here. Uh, here's your counter at the very bottom, which usually the counter's on the top, but this one's on the bottom. Here's your film release right here. And it does have little strap mounts on it, but I don't use it. It's, you know, it's so compact. And if you drop it, who cares? It's only a tiny little old piece of junk camera. Um, but like I said, I was really uh, happy with the results I got out of this, and um, it has some cool design elements to it. I like how simple it is, um, it's pretty pleasing to look at. It does have a, a remote, or however you want to say it, a shutter release insert right here, so you can use that as well if you want to throw it on a tripod, get a little bit more uh, sharpness to your photos. Um, I also really like on the top of the film liner, it has this really cool like emblem insignia here. I'm gonna focus my camera. Ooh, this I'm using uh, a new DSLR I have, and I have a really old lens. And whenever you focus on it, it you can just totally hear it in the, uh, the the mic I'm using on it. But anyways, cool camera. Um, you can pick them up for super cheap. Even if you only shoot two or three rolls with it, I would say it's uh, a fun little guy to have around. I'm really growing on uh, Fuji products in general. They're like the little engine that could. Uh, they make really interesting products. And uh, the next camera I'm getting is actually a Fujika 6, which is a medium format that lets you shoot by 6x7 or 6x6. There's a slider in the back so you can do it. And so square medium format photos. So that's my next thing I'm going to be working on. But 
I digress. Let me get back to this. So you, I said everything is automatic, but of course you can choose aperture here. Um, but when you go into uh, this mode, I'm not sure what shutter speed it defaults to. Because with all these cameras, when you choose the manual mode, it'll default to some shutter speed, and it doesn't look like it's that fast. I want to. I, mean, I can't just look at this and say what shutter speed it is, but it's not incredibly fast. But you know, if you want to use a flash, that's on there as well. And once again, Fujika Compact 35. I actually had this camera before, but I was a much worse photographer when I did own it. And I hated the results I got with it. So when I got it again, why did I get it again? Um, I got uh, a, a lot of vintage cameras off an auction, and I got like this and two other Olympuses for something like $14 and they all worked and so it was a steal and this time around I was really happy with it so if you can pick one up for super cheap it's not a bad little toy to have lying around just be sure to check the Slendum Crystal and you know I wouldn't pay more than 10 bucks for it because that's you know like I said it's not something to write home about or anything like that but I guess that's it my video got kind of long I'm gonna add a couple photos to this at the end of the video so you can see some of the stuff I got with it and I used um, Kodak Gold ISO 200 so nothing fancy super cheap film but uh, judge with judge yourself with the results have a nice day and thanks for watching take care どうもありがとうございます。